All right, there we go. It should be fixed now. All right, let me know how it looks now. Um, all right, perfect. All right, perfect. They said perfect over there. Let me check it on Instagram. I probably got to turn y'all around Instagram, so forgive me for a second. How are you doing today? Talk to me. Everybody had a good day? It's about to get better. <laughs> All right, Instagram, are we good? Uh, well, I got to flip the office. It's gonna work backwards that way. So, all right. Look like we got it set up now. All right. All right. Y'all can tell I'm producing this like all by myself, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, that's straight. All right, looking like it's blurry. All right, is it good now? I don't get it. Get my nails done. All right, we see you. Somebody got any nails done today? Yes, but I could have came to help. <laughs> yeah, I definitely would need somebody to help me. Um, so. I probably won't be of much help in responding uh, to you all, just a heads up, because um, I'm here doing it by myself. My, um, my sister, she kind of, my sister, she kind of ditched me today, so it'll um, be just me. So I'll honestly try to look like back and forth um, on here. Um, see if I could. Uh, be able to act as if I'm uh, log out of my Facebook and then uh, see if I can see from uh, somebody else's page real quick. Yeah, so we're just gonna get started. Let me see, we got enough people in. All right, so we got here. All right, three, eight, nine, nine. All right, let's go. What time is it? Clarence, I see you. All right, so the first thing uh, we're gonna be talking about is poverty, all right? Poverty is a disease, so I'll slow down too because sometimes I get to talking so fast because uh, I'm excited, especially about this topic because um, a lot of people been talking about it and I've been doing a lot of reading and watching videos and then I uh, found this method that works to get to generational wealth. So I've been like excited all week. I really wanted to do it yesterday. So the story behind that, um, it was Father's Day, but as well in the city, we had a um, killing in Boynton. It was a murder and um, I just felt really bad if I had went on live and started doing this because it's something that happened in the city. Um, just out of respect, um, you know, for the family and whatnot. A lot of people, you know, they said it didn't matter, but you know, it, it mattered to me. So. That wasn't something that you know I was gonna do, um, you know, on that day, just out of respect. All right. Um, 
So starting with generational wealth, all right? Now, we're talking about poverty, all right? Poverty by uh, definition, all right? Let me get on my page, all right? Poverty by definition is a state of being extremely poor, all right? So make sure you know that. And then disease, I put dis-ease because that's what it is, all right? If disease, anything is a disease, it causes you dis-ease. So it's like a play on words here. Um, if you didn't catch that, but a disease is a particular quality, habit, or disposition regarded as adversely affecting a person or a group of people. So this is what I'm talking about with poverty. Poverty is a disease, and it should be treated as such because we overlook, you know, people being poor. And a lot of times, I tell my friends and family that, um, you know, we know so much bad that we don't know good in front of us, and we don't even try to seek it. Sometimes because we are so stuck in our ways. But there are ways to get around things, and um, especially if you're looking to build generational wealth, because a lot of people think that generational wealth starts with, well, it starts with you, but they think it ends with them. It shouldn't end with you. It should start with you, but it should end with the generations after you, because you should be leaving the legacy, all right? So I wanted to go into um, some stats. So let's look at some stats real quick. Real quick now, don't be trying to fact check me on the stats. I mean, you can. I got this from the um, U.S. Census, so it's from the government. So if you feel like the stats is lying, it ain't like it's nothing new from the government. So I'm just being funny, but uh, we got our stats right here. Now we're gonna be looking at from 1967. We got a baby history lesson here to uh, 2018. All right, and we're looking at the the real median. All right. The real median um, income by race, all right? Now, I'm gonna put it over here, the income by race, all right? And I'm gonna put how much it has. So the first one that we got, y'all good? All right, the first one we got, all right, is our Asians. This might come as a surprise for some. They are the leading group, all right? And in these years, between 1967 and 2008, all right, it went from 69K to 87K. Remember, we're talking about real median income by race. All right, household, real median. Um, I forgot to put the household in there. All right, so you know it's household. We don't want nobody confusing that. All right, then we got two. All right, that'll be white people. All right. Now, they went from 55K to 70.6K. And then we got three, which will be all races. So on the US census, um, it's not really defined what all races is, but I'm assuming this will be your mixed race people, um, maybe Native Americans and people who just don't claim anything other than Asian, white, um, black, or Hispanic, all right? They went from, uh, so this number is a little funky to me, but um, I know why, because it's not really uh, specified. All right, 47K to 63K. All right, so we got one, two, three, we got the Asians, the whites, and we got all races, all right? So that'd be like your mixed race people. And then uh, we got four, all right? Four is Hispanic, all right? Now, with Hispanic, it's inclusive of all races, all right, of, his, of Hispanic people. So y'all know what that means. We got, you got Puerto Rican, we got Venezuela, we got everybody, all right? They went from 41K to 51.4K. In this time period, remember, we're talking about this time frame right here. All right, from 1967 to 2008. This is the real median, the real household median income by race from 1967 to 2008. All right, and then at the very bottom, as you can imagine, you got blacks, and that's how I stated on the website, blacks, all right? I know some people don't like using that word, but that's what we're doing, all right? You got 29K to 41.3K. Now, although this is a, substan a substantial jump here, it's still lackluster in comparison to catching up with these groups, and that's 50 plus years. Now, 
when a lot of people look at this, I know you'd be thinking like, oh, that's a broken system and whatnot. But I just look at it on the other side. It's like, it's really not a broken system if we uh, think about it. You have to uh, take into account things that were pitted against uh, minorities, such as, um, you know, different laws and policies. That one of the place I don't want to go looking too deep into that because that's not what this is about. All right, but um, it's not a system that's broken. It's a system that's working working perfectly fine. You got one group that's been dominated for been dominated for 50 plus years, two top groups. All right, so it's working just fine for who it's supposed to be working for, in my opinion. All right, and they had also wealth strategies in place. That's why we're doing um, this uh, generational wealth uh, talk today. All right. Now, what I want to talk about is well, like. How can we change the map, all right? Because I think a lot of people, we get caught up and, you know, we find ourselves and then we just lose ourselves because we go to being back regular and we get content with a lot of things we're doing. And we don't really realize we have the ability to take our family even further than the generation before us. And then we just end up in this very, like, vicious cycle of, you know, everybody call it generational curses, but I call it generational choices because you had the choice to, you know, change the map for your generation, you know, many things are pitted against people and I'm not discounting that whatsoever, but we do have choices that we can make to change the map um, for ourselves, all right? So now we're gonna go into the um, our generational um, wealth plan, all right? So this time, um, I would suggest you probably get a pen, something to write with, or um, if you screen recording, all right? And because I know me, I'm the type of person, I gotta go along with you. So I'm gonna give you time to do that while um, I set up this plan. All right. So, all right. The topic at the top is we have, and this will be the main thing. We have to buy. I'm putting in all caps. We have to buy wealth. Until, until we create it. Buy, create. Buy, create. All right, we have to buy wealth until we create it. So I'm gonna give you a second to get that started. Um, I'm gonna look and see if y'all got any questions, all right? Hey there, how you doing? <laughs> all right. So if you uh, needed to get a pen pad or something like this, I got all my notes with me because I really work hard on this stuff. Because I, I went into like full teacher mode, all right, with this, um, from what I was learning. All right, so um, what we're gonna do, this one technique, and you can look it up on Google yourself. Um, you can simply just type in ways to obtain generational wealth. All right, and it'll give you a list of ways, and what I'm about to show you is one of them that you can look on Google, because. I know you might, some people, y'all have y'all doubts, you be like, mm, I don't know, he might be doing some scheme or something like that. It's not a scheme, and I'm not here to sell you nothing. I wouldn't waste my time doing this for free. Everybody know me, they know I'm about a dollar, so I ain't charged for this yet, so. This is purely out of my heart. I do got the cash out there, though. And the website, um, blackagenda.com, you can get your apparel as well. All right, so you have to buy wealth until you create it. So with life insurance, there's two things you can get. That's what we're going to talk about, life insurance. You can get term life insurance, which is basically like renting life insurance, or you get whole life insurance, which is uh, pretty much permanent. Now, people ask me, like, how can you generate, um, you know, get generational wealth with life insurance? It's very simple, all right? So I'm going to spell it out right now for you, all right? So I know this is the plan that I put together from what I've learned, all right? I don't have a wife. I don't have a girlfriend, all right? So when I get to those things, I already have my family plan in place. Um, and I already have some life insurance, but once I get a family, obviously I'm gonna need more of it because I have to cover everybody. All right, to make sure they're good. All right, so starting off at the very top, we got the mom, or in this case, it would be my wife. All right, I don't have a wife. All right, this would be dad. We're gonna call him Big Daddy. All right, <laughs> I hope that made y'all laugh. All right. So, let's say we got mom, we got big daddy, all right? So, requirement to be in a relationship with me, and we getting up there older in age. What I aspire to be, aspire to happen is that me and my partner, we each have a $2 million life insurance policy on one another, all right? So, we got two mil, all right? Boom, boom. 
two mil, boom, boom, on one another. All right, we got the $2 million policy. Now, how we could win, all right, through our life insurance, well, not us, how we could win, all right, it'll be for generational wealth. So what you got to keep in mind, you are the sacrifice for this, okay? And you got to really keep that in mind. You got these two, all right, $2 million each. Boom. Now, this is the part where a lot of people don't do, all right? You're going to set up a trust, all right? So when you set up a trust, this is um, like a legal entity that basically holds your property and um, assets. So if you um, have wishes, it's almost like a very detailed will that has a lot of legalities and you can have your own clauses in it. So that's what makes um, a trust so good, all right? Now, we pass away, all right? Me and wifey, $4 million, boom, boom. $4 million goes to, into the trust. All right, now, let's say me and mama, we got a big mama, I'm big daddy, let's remember that. We got some kids, we got some children, all right? Now, we got kid one, and we got kid two, all right? I ain't got no kid three, because three ain't for me, baby. All right, I get a boy and a girl, I am done, all right? And if she got kids, even better, all right? So, one and two. Now, we passed away, we got this four million. Now, we trust the count. Let's say it grows at about 5% interest, all right, you accumulate, all right, through the trust in your assets that you have in there. So, um, for four million dollars um, at 5%, growing at 5%, all right, that'll be 200K, 200K. That's just interest, that's not counting. So, you're at 4.2 million, really, all right? Now, this 200K, would be accessible by kid one and kid two. Now, the clause that I would put in the trust for my family, all right, is that for them to get this 200K, this is just interest, not coming out of the trust, this is just interest that accumulated from the trust, all right, they would have to each get a $2 million policy, all right? So boom, now they got $2 million. All right, now they got two million um, on their head, all right, for life insurance. Now, after doing that, boom, 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 they got 100K a piece, all right? This, they, this is that 400 year head start that everybody's been talking about on that meme. This is it right here. This is their 100K that they're gonna get that's accumulated from uh, accumulated uh, interest from the trust, all right, and the assets that you have in it, all right? Now they got 100K. I don't know nobody. I ain't saying in the hood that started out with 100K in their account. I don't really know, all right? But this is a hell of a head start to me, all right? I know some people are like, oh, this is long and drawn out, but generational, it takes time, all right? So, 100K each, boom. Now, we got two kids here. Now, this goes, hey, are y'all following? Let me uh, check in with y'all before I keep going ahead. All right, good, all right? All right, good, so we following. All right. So, 100K, 100K, a little bit head start. That's what we, um, oh man, I lost my marker. I'm getting too excited. All right, 100K each, all right? That's on the head start that they got. Now, I'm about to show you something that's real magical, all right? Now, we got, they pass away, two, four. Now we got four million here, plus the four million we already still got in the account. Oh my God, look at this. Look at the trust now, baby. $8 million. My family is worth $8 million, all right? After me, all right? $8 million. Now, say they pass away. Now, accumulated, um, let's say, at the same 5% of the assets, all right? And remember, this 200 pay be a year for um, kid one and two, all right? Everything goes as planned with that uh, 5%. And I believe you could beat inflation with this weak American dollar. If you look it up, it's getting... We can we can should invest in gold, I would say. Um all right, so now let's say we got they got kids, all right. Now, this at five percent, the accumulated growth, all right. Now we got four hundred K all right a year. All right. That's accumulated. Now let's say each of them has two kids. Now for them to access this four hundred K. 
They're gonna have to get a two million dollar policy on their head now. So boom, we got I'm gonna put GC1, because that's grandchild, and then we got GC2, all right? Then we got GC3 over here and GC4, all right? Now, each of them gotta have a $2 million policy on their head to access that 400, uh, 400K, all right? So now we got two mil, two mil, two mil, two mil, All right, so now we got, count with me, two, four, six, eight. They pass away now. Well, they get, let's let them, let's, let's let them enjoy the money first. We ain't gonna kill them yet. All right, so now we got 400K. Now each of them got the same head start. 100K. 100K. All right, now they all following? Let me know. All right. All right. So we get all right. A hundred k. Now each child got a hundred k. All right. Now they pass away. We ain't worried about what they do with the money. Remember, we are leaving the legacy for them. When you're doing generational wealth, it is not inclusive of you. You just started. When you're up here at the top, we just worried about getting rich. All right. We may be. I may be able to make two hundred thousand dollars. That might be my cap in my lifetime that I make. So we got to adopt that baton mentality. I'm probably going to make this a theory. Nobody's still my idea, but the baton theory, you got to pass that thing, all right? You got to pass that thing to them. You ever watch the movie? It'd be, it'd be a nice smooth handoff. That's what we got to get in our heads. Now, let's say they pass away. Two, four, six, eight. They pass away. Now, the trust. We talking about 16 million dollar family this is generational wealth 16 million dollars now i'm not going to keep going on you get the drift by now of how you can build that generational wealth step by step and then you could bring another you know if they each have two kids you can keep going on it's the same formula now what i will say you will have to put the clauses in your trust that sets this up for them to have this one, they can only access this. You can set any parameters that you want, all right? You can access this uh, when you're 18, all right? When um, you want, you have to use this money to buy a house and get a car, all right? You can set any parameters. Now, I know my people, I know what y'all thinking, like, damn, I'm worth two million people know that, they're gonna try to kill me probably. Hey, if somebody try to kill you, they just enriching your legacy. That's all you're doing, all right? They just really enriching your legacy. Your family is gonna be straight. Now, if you think of your wife or somebody gonna kill you, now you can put that in your clause as well if you think it's something conspicuous that might happen to you. And then that's why you see a lot of times probably uh, some people, they, they got millions of dollars and they go to like uh, some darn cat shelter because they, that's what they had set up for it to be if they feel like they wasn't really feeling their family like that. All right? <laughs> so that's the uh, generational plan. But let's go over it. So remember, this right here, now we have 16 million. All right, now let's say we stop right here. And then this 16 going to the next generation, let's say imaginary generation, because we haven't uh, drawn it out, all right, or anything, all right? This $16 million, you can treat it as an endowment. So if you look this up after you get off the live, uh, most colleges, they have a thing called an endowment. So it's like a reserve of money that's sitting there in case the university basically goes under, they can tap into that. And a lot of big corporations, they have life insurance policy on their executives. That's how they build wealth. All right, this is just a trip to the game that we have to get hit to it. We have to learn because a lot of people are like, oh, it's a scam. It's a waste of money. Now, by all means, if you have the cash to set everything up like that and, you know, you straight, don't pay attention to me. I'm not worried about that. But I know for me and how I operate and how I see my future going, I want this to be set in stone for my family and I want the discipline to be there. And you have to teach the kids from a very young age about economics and everything because that is going to be key in this following through. Because it's just not gonna happen overnight. You gotta make sure it's instilled from generation to generation to generation to generation. And it's not just the money, it's the education, the mindset, and the discipline to handle this type of money. All right, before we move on, I'm gonna check in with y'all. All right. So, how do you go about starting a trust? Son, I thought you well. I taught you well. <laughs> all right, so um, with a trust, all right. So, you can set up a trust. Um, you can call a lawyer or some, it'll be some financial services. 
Um, I didn't really go too deep into the trust thing because I don't have a family. I just, I have my assets allocated for my sister. So that's how I um, operate with that. But once I get a family, I'll contact the lawyer and set up a trust. You could do it online or you could uh, do it with a lawyer. I'd rather do it with a lawyer. You want to get a lawyer that you can trust probably over that time period that will um, handle business for you. All right. Now, so uh, we got this principle. Now you're probably wondering, how the hell we got $16 million sitting here in this account? All right, what time is it? I want to bump into my boy. Uh, all right, my dog, uh, Clarence. He do financial services, Clarence Brockett. Hey, if you still in here, because he's doing stock tonight at uh, about 7.30, so y'all can go to his page after we get done. I'm about to wrap this up in like maybe three minutes. All right, so you probably wonder, how, what are we going to do with this $16 million for this next generation right here? And they access that uh, money that grow all right, out of that $16 million. Now, this is the part where it gets beautiful for your family. After the second generation, you got 16 million sitting in that account. What are we gonna do with this money, all right? Now, this is the part where you become your own bank, all right, in, in home banking. If you need to go start a business, kids wanna start a business, they could borrow from the trust account and pay interest back. You being your own bank in the house, you owe yourself money, all right? This is a beautiful thing. We don't have to go to the banks. We don't have to worry about being denied or if we qualify. You are your own bank at this point because you have so much money in your reserves and you're going to put that money back in once you achieve uh, you know, whatever terms you're trying to get to in your business and you're able to pay back the money. All right, And you'll have trustees as well that could be over the account and make sure everything is uh, going as planned. All right, um, and with this, I know it seems complicated, but if y'all know anything or don't know Warren Buffett, I want y'all to look him up. His father was only a billionaire, okay? If you know anything. So don't get it wrong. His dad passed that baton, all right? That's how Warren Buffett got what he got. He passed that baton. Donald Trump, his father, passed that baton. That's how they got what they got, and that's the mentality that we have to adapt because you cannot have a, self, a, self, a selfish mentality and try to achieve greatness like this far as financials go, all right? Now, another thing I'll say is, we gotta calm down with the, if you do party and all that, like, you can't be going out like that. You a liability of your family, you ain't got no life insurance. What you gonna leave behind, all right? You, you gotta be smart about what you're doing and more cognizant in the way you operate, especially if you're trying to instill this discipline into the kids that's gonna follow this plan. And, you know, a lot of people, let's go to the social justice part, talking about, you know, the police killings, uh, you know, getting murdered, and whatnot, especially if it's by a government or some type of police, just be a double advocate. Don't take it the wrong way, police. All right, but you telling me, if the police know, my family, we at, I got two million on my head, two million on my wife, two million, two million, and they killing us, all right, in the streets. If everybody we, we know on this side, let's say he's born, they got these insurance policies and they killing about three, four people a week. You think the insurance policy, they, they gonna come down here to point and be like, hey, what the hell is going on? Because you touching their bottom line at this point. They gonna find another way to do it because killing us ain't gonna do it. These numbers, numbers gonna start to add up. All right, they, they don't wanna see that. Money coming out, coming out, coming out. All right, so you gotta, you gotta look at it from all angles. When you have that money, you have that power. All right, and you will operate differently. You know, they say money don't change you, it should change you. All right, but for the better, I'd say. All right, and um, the last thing I want to leave you with is that um, run your race. All right, run your way, run your race. All right, because a lot of people we get caught up in, you know, I need to get this, I need to get this amount of money, I need to get that. Run your race. It may not be meant for you to be a millionaire for your family. You might be a thousandaire, but if you got a formula to make your family some millionaires. That's what they're going to leave you, and you will truly rest in peace, and that's what they will be talking about all right, for a time and years to come. So this is just one of the plans. Um, I'm going to save this video. I'm going to upload it. All right, so uh, if you got any comments, say it down because I'm coming around. All right, I'm a walk-in family asset with Forex. No, I'm not doing Forex. This is life insurance. Forex, I, don't, uh, I do not deal with that. So which do you prefer to invest in? All right. Uh, I would say go with the trust account. I know for me personally, it would be a trust. Someone asked, uh, you know, which one, the trust or the will. The will, that leaving instructions, but the trust, you could actually set up the clauses, all right, that you want in there, how the money's going to be pieced out, and um, you could put whatever clause that you want, like the clause that I put for my family that it would be, because this is my family plan right here, 
When I get married, my girl, whoever, when we get to that point, this is what's gonna happen though, we just can't be together, all right? What we're gonna set up, all right, is that for the kids to access that growth, the money that grew at 5%, each of them are gonna to have to have a $2 million policy and then they can access that, well that first generation, they can access that 200,000. If I have two kids like I planned, all right, they'll get 100K each. That's their 100K head start right there. All right, that's one of the clauses. Now you can put other clauses like, you gotta buy a house with the money and you gotta do something else. It's gonna be a clause and your, um, the legal entity that's holding the property, um, they're going to make sure that happens before they release any of the money, all right? Uh, we got any more questions? Uh, duh, I'm talking about Clarence. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, Clarence, if you own on here, uh, y'all go over to Clarence. Uh, he doing stock tonight. Um, I'll probably end up probably uploading his video to my website as well. All right. Because uh, tonight, this was a finance night for me. All right. Um, so I hope you follow. I will be saving this video for you so you could uh, go back and look at it. I hope this helps somebody. I know it seems like a lot, but it's really that simple to ensure your family's wealth. All right. It's really that simple. If you don't have a wealthy family, the wealth has to come from you. You can't be sitting up and complaining. You have to change the map. It is going to be on you to change your mentality, change your way of life and change your discipline to make this happen. Because we can't sit up here and be complaining and talk about we want reparations and blah, 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 this and that. And we could create reparations for our damn selves. Come on now. Don't that make sense? I, I would love reparations, but the likeness that that's going to happen, I don't know. And I'm not against anybody that's fighting for it because I'm for it too. I'm just saying, hey, if we financially savvy, baby, $16 million in the hole. All right, not in the hole, but $16 million up, all right, after the second generation. That's only the second generation. We ain't talking about three, four, five, six generations. And you gotta keep the mentality in place. Think about when we have family reunions and you go there and how do we have four generations of poverty soldiers? Come on, man, like we gotta make some changes. Everybody can't be struggling like that. I know we got a couple uncles sprinkled in there who got that bad, but we trying to get everybody set to where it's a family thing. We can have our own family bank within us and have everything rotate. And that is the plan if we're gonna have this true separation that everyone's been talking about, all right? And we're not, you know, financially stagnant. You know, you gotta get in them books too. But once again, that, <laughs> we need that baton mentality. You gotta pass it on, all right? You gotta pass it on, all right? You cannot be trying to hate white people, nothing like, you gotta pass on the baton and do your own thing, all right? Because hating on somebody, hating your enemy is not going to do nothing. If anything, you feel like somebody's your enemy, you should study them. And if you're scared of something, you should study the hell out of it. All right? That's what true war is. If you're going for a revolution, you need to know your enemies too. All right? So that's, uh, that's it for me tonight. Make sure you run your race, people. Peace and love, family. I hope this helps somebody. All right? I will be uploading this video. So um, if you got any questions, I'll come around now. All right? Uh, give me your question. Uh, somebody had a question. Um, everybody, if you, um, I'm with it. The black agenda. Thank you. All right. Make sure you hit that cash app or you go get your pearl. All right. Pyramid investments. I do not do pyramid investments. I'm just staying on here answering questions at this point. If you need to go somewhere else, um, go over to Clarence Brockett page. Um, he's doing stock. Um, you can go do that now. Um, he's the man. He even put me up on game on stocks. I done made uh, a few thousand dollars through his Corona. All right. So I've I've been grateful for him. All right. And a couple of people I got in group chats too. All right. Um, I don't do pyramid schemes. I don't do the susu. I don't do none of that. This will be my susu. I am my susu. All right. Because I don't like to invest money in nothing that doesn't have any terms and conditions. That's, that's just really odd to me because that's how I think. All right, um, a lot of people, it may work for them, but um, like it was one that somebody tried to get me and they said you put 100 to get 800. I'd rather go make um, $800 than put, risk, risk my own $100, put it into a business and make 800 rather than put it into a circle of people I don't really know and there's no terms and conditions and then go like that. Um, that just doesn't sit well with a person like me. When you you know you're being a little bit you know when you, when you're being financially you know um, you know savvy I guess it does work though some of the suits I saw it but and pyramid schemes but I just don't get involved and wrapped up in that stuff because it's just not something that I'm comfortable with 
You like I said, you gotta run your race. So whatever fits you, that's what fits you. Drop the app. Uh, give me one second, Samuel. Hey, I'm doing good, y'all. Mm -hmm. How do I respond to y'all? Mm -hmm. I don't even know how. All right, so drop the app, the cash app. All right, KSJ Scholars. All right, KSJ Scholars. That's the um, that's the cash app. All right. All right, um, if we got any more questions, uh, I've been on here for, uh, I don't know how to pin it. Uh, you're going to have to teach me that. Uh, hold on. JSJ Scholars. I, I don't know how to pin it. <laughs> I'm going to just keep sending it. It ain't going to get lost in there. <laughs> hey, can keep, uh, all right, keep, uh, can keep teaching. All right, yeah, I appreciate it. All right, so um, anybody got any questions? Um, I'm still here. Like I said, this is um, this is the formula, baby. This is what I learned. I'm just giving y'all the information that I've been reading on. I've been hitting my books real hard since this uh, corona thing happened. So I just know something is on the horizon. I can't tell you what it is with this whole pandemic going on, but I know I feel it in my spirit. And I know you probably feel it too about what's going on. So this is called... A preventative maintenance plan all right that's what I like to call all these things that I do and have in place in my life from the gold that I wear from the shoes it's all preventative maintenance all right mean economical and things that I do is preventative maintenance because one of the main things about the black agenda that we always will be talking about we want to be more proactive than reactive that is the goal all right and this is part of our um, mobilizing our resources so we can reach economic freedom. And if you got $16 million in your, into your family, I don't know what economic freedom is if you got that. It got, that's economic freedom. I don't know anybody that got $16 million into their family. That's just me. And look, they ain't told me, but you know, I just don't know anybody. All right, you gonna know it when this happens to my family because it's, it's gonna show and I'm gonna make sure it show. I'm putting all type of clauses in the trust. <laughs> Alrighty, um, I think I'm good. All right. Um, let me know if y'all got any questions. I'm coming back around. <laughs> All right, hey Ken, keep teaching, keep teaching. Uh, proud of you, bro. Thank you, thank you, Jerry Bradford, my dog. All the way in Tennessee. All right. Uh, Dale, New Money, Warren Jr. I just got out of there, so trust is a lifetime investment, right? It grows throughout the years. Yes, and it also depends on your assets how the trust will grow. All right, so. Don't count on it being at that 5%, all right? But like I said, with um, the trust um, growing from that $4 million and taking out, and it's not taking out any money from that $4 million, it's growing at 5%, let's say, and you got two hundred k all right? That'll be coming out. You can allocate that towards kid one, kid two. They'll get 100 k a piece. That's their 100-year head start, 400, 500-year head start that I keep seeing on the meme, like I said before. So... That that's what is what that what get allocated towards them, and you put in the clause that you want. So the clause, like I said before, is that each of them have to get a two million dollars policy to access that money that grew from the assets that accumulated within the trust. And I just put five percent because um, you got to worry about beating inflation. I mean, the American dollar. If you haven't seen it yet, we can we can, like I said before. So I believe you can beat the American dollar with the inflation that's going on, especially with all these checks getting sent out. All right. Especially by the time we get up there in the age as well. I want to learn more about this. Um, yeah, um, you can learn more about it. Um, I'm, I'm pretty much done. I'm about to get off because um, I want y'all to. How do I talk to y'all on here? I don't know how to talk to y'all on here. Instagram, I can see it, but not on here. No, that's inviting people. All right. Yeah, so if we got any more questions, uh, what time is it? Because I'm way over what I wanted to do. I'll give you three minutes if you got any questions. Uh, I will be saving this live. All right, so um, you'll be able to watch it. I'll upload it to YouTube. Um, it'll be on the IGTV, and then um, I'll upload it to Black Agenda, the um, Facebook website as well, so you can see that. 
and uh, I'll be putting it on my personal page as well. I know y'all be seeing me advertising, all right? I'm trying to um, get these shirts off and the We Will Breathe shirts, and I might have one more shirt coming out. I think a lot of people is gonna feel, all right? I just been thinking, man, I'm, I'm just getting better and better every day, and I just wanna make sure the community get better as well, like through all things possible, from money, health, history, education. Next week, it'll be um, a history week for us. Uh, we're gonna talk about how um, America has gotten great, all right? <laughs> so it's gonna be a, that's gonna be real fun because it's gonna take a big twist that a lot of people probably don't know about in history. And it's always fun teaching that to my kids at the high school level. So I know y'all really gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna keep things interesting as possible, I promise, uh, because I just like teaching and I like uplifting the community and you know tapping into our brains because this is the most powerful thing that we have. I want everybody to keep that in mind. Anything from, you can look at any tool that's within five feet of you right now, anything, just look at anything, your phone that's in your hand, anything, anything in this world that's touched this earth pretty much was a thought in somebody's mind. So just keep that in mind when you got dreams and goals that you want to reach. It was a thought in somebody's mind and they just manifested it. That's powerful. We got to tap in. Like that is so powerful. Like it's, it's in your brain. Like, and then you just manifest it and you put out a product or you put out a service. Like, so just keep that in mind. Anything in this world that came from somebody's brain. All right, so, all right, I'm about to get off. Uh, I've been on here for way longer than I thought. Um, I hope y'all didn't miss it, but I'm gonna save the live. You can run it back as many times as you want. Hey, we got all the, uh, this is the generational wealth plan, man. Hey, like I said, we go, uh, we gotta pass that baton, baby. I uh, pass the baton to the next generation. All right, this is my plan. We got two million, we get four. We got two kids, all right? Now, that four million, we got eight million on the family. They have kids, these are grandchildren. Now we up to 16 million. We just passing the baton, baby, and we using the growth, that 5% growth, to hand out to them. 100K, 100K each, they head start. 100K, 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 across that four, they get their head start, and the family, we right here, $16 million. You can keep it going. You can keep it going. I'm just reviewing for people that might have jumped in. You can keep it going, all right? You can keep that generational wealth going. It's just going to take some real discipline, all right? And uh, this accumulated amount, like I said before, I'm just repeating myself to people that came in just to help you out, all right? That 16 million, now you become your own bank. You want to start your uh, business? You want, a lot of people I see, uh, they start, uh, a lot of people are on this like trucking business saying now, if you go buy your truck, you got 16 million, borrow against our endowment that we got as a family. As soon as you make your cash back, put it right back into the family. Keep it rolling. We don't need no bank. We don't need nobody. We is the bank, all right? So that's just what it is, all right? And run your race. Run your race, pass that baton. Run your race, pass that baton. That's all I want to leave y'all with. Run your race, pass that baton, all right? And remember, anything in this world that was created, started right here, right here, it's right here. All right, y'all, peace and love, family. I've been on it far too long. I love y'all. I will bring that sex, that, that sex, that, um, that next, <laughs> I will bring that next, uh, next week I'll bring the same energy. Uh, we'll have a history lesson going on. I know y'all gonna love it. It's gonna be about how America became great. So I know y'all wanna hear about that. All right, I'll see y'all. I'll be answering any questions and I'm out. All right, okay, so I have a lot of decisions. Do you happen to have this on a hard copy, like a PDF file? All right, I do not. I see you, kid. <laughs> I definitely thought about that. <laughs> 3.4 trillion in spending power. Look, you know something, Kwan. <laughs> I love how smart my family is, man. We just got to get it together. It's going to be on us. She say horny much. <laughs> and that needs to be on a shirt. All right. I got you. But all right, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, we out. I'm going to save the live and go over to uh, Clarence Brockett. You can find him. He doing stock tonight. That's where I'm about to go. I got I got my notepad ready and I'm, uh, I'm about to go learn some more about stocks because I done made some money through Corona and I just want to keep it rolling. All right. Thank you. Peace and love, family. All right, y'all.
And you're welcome. I see you, Miss Mays.